going everybody welcome back to the vlog and this one we're doing a really cool pergola installation we're using a new product to have this thing supported on the house wall come through the roof and uh, then build the rest of the pergola we're also doing a really unique vertical feature pergola thing coming off of the house over the bar and patio area so make sure you hit subscribe stay tuned You got the sky jack up there? One of them? Did you already put one together or put it back in the box? Did, I? did you put it back in the box? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice and tight. All right. Getting ready to start our pergola here. I'm pretty psyched about it. We got Connor helping us out. What's up, Connor? Are you supposed to be at school? Oh, 10 minutes. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so because we have this uh, low pitch here, uh, we've got this roof with a uh, big overhang. We're pretty low on height here. There's nowhere to attach on the house a ledger board in your traditional way. So we're using this sky jack and uh, is that what it's called? We're using this sky lift system, which I'm pretty psyched about. I've seen uh, a couple people use it before and uh, just waited for the right application. This is perfect for it. So. Let's check it out. All right. All right, so we're just gonna attach it like this. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Now what we gotta do here is remove some shingles. We are going to cut out a hole in our sheathing. And then this is actually gonna sit on top of our wall plate inside. So uh, we wanna measure back, soffit overhang here figure out where that top plate's gonna be, and then boom, this is gonna sit right on there, and it will accept our beam. So it's pretty sick. It's a really cool way to have uh, half of our pergola bearing on the interior wall, and uh, we'll show you how everything comes together. Ain't you got anything to, to say yet? Um, I would say prep work is key here. Make sure you take good measurements to where your wall's gonna be, and just remove more shingles than you truly need. Uh, I'm sure it takes a little bit of time, but I'd rather have a nice, big, clean working surface. And then, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Seemed really nice and sturdy. Yeah. Heavy duty. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> She's burning the sage If he knocks, she'll turn him away Said he's never begged Well, he's learning today That's it Been living with less than a bit Off a wish to make the wrong thing fit But it's hard head stick And the stars don't Sean! Uh. At least I know, like, now where the plate is Yeah Beautiful It's about 28 inches off the gutter And my post is pretty much in line with this shingle No, I'm good there Oh. I mean, I might just go, I might just cut it some tighter to that. Yeah. Do we have the boot? Yeah. In free mo, feels primo. She beats her OGs with sequels. Lethal her look, but she's sweet though. She sings so shots like they're free throws. Whoa, make them by the knuckle when she dance slow. She don't really do it for the benefit. She can make them fall with a glance though. Stay independent, saying thanks for the sentiment. Hit the switch and she's gone. Been too long since she got to get down with the girls, do a song. Took till now, but she found what she lacked and she laughs because the girl made the last two strong. It's a goal to get lit. She floats when it hits. Been a minute now, she no, she missed this and told us this, this. I'm not limited by anyone, already got my tattoo pick. Now that we've got the skylift brackets installed, we can start building out this pergola. We did the beams one ply at a time so that we could more easily get them up onto the roof. And then once we get those secured, we can just run with those rafters.
All right, so. So six by inch, marry, match that six by on the other side to the steps. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then, do you want to stop the plywood here, do deck boards, and we'll just like continue the picture frame? Yeah, I think so. We could do that. Yeah. Yeah, might as well and do that. And it'll die into the column. Because the columns are getting built out, right? Yeah. All right, so, yeah, we got to go. We got to go to the last job. We keep getting comments. Hey, have you finished that job yet? Uh, we've been waiting on a couple little things We're not there. Not that job yet? Pretty much. But uh, an irrigation irrigation company's coming tomorrow. Oh, got okay. confirmation on that. So uh, we just have to finish up a little bit more joint sand. And then uh, video on that coming probably next week. We got to do a walkthrough. We'll wait yeah. till the irrigation's done. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll be back in a little bit. Looks good, Ant. Yeah, it came out. These skylift things are legit. Yeah, I think it looks it looks pretty cool too. Like it's just floating above the house. Right. And we're putting a, we're putting a cover on it. We're putting a cover on it. Yes, right. that is correct. And uh, what did you do today? You weren't even here. Where I wasn't were here. No, I was at the other job. We got the uh, we got the accoutrement rocks epoxied. Oh, you used the uh, Elutriant? No, we used the Bromex Rompox. Oh, the Rompox. The, Pox, I don't know, I forget what it's called, like but uh, clear glue, exactly. It turned out pretty sick. And it's permeable, e permeable, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so great job. Getting those. I did this, yeah, it did go very smoothly. Tomorrow, yes. I'm gonna be here You're all day, back. belt on, and uh, yeah, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. I'm gonna maybe do that. Hey, I need service on my vehicle, <laughs> you just got it. Hey, I'm putting a lot of miles on it. Putting zero miles on it. You drive to the job site, you park, and you go in the van. <laughs> I got a lot. And you of, run out to get a Celsius or something. Every no, time. I pack those. I get them at Costco. A lot of Costco <laughs> trips. Anyway, I'm gonna jump on this other pergola structure. I'd thing. rather you not. Well, I'm going to. So. Why don't you start with painting and everything? I'll jump. Well, on yeah, it. we're gonna. That's how it has to start. We're gonna okay, start with yeah, that. You can start painting. Throw those six buys up and we'll get that perimeter uh, going. And then uh, Tom can jump on the, the mid-span mid kind blocking. of blocking thing we're gonna do on the pergola. And uh, maybe we get this uh, plywood up. up. Some, God. On the inside. Yeah, not on the outside? Well, we can't if we're gonna run electric to it yet. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Good call there, <laughs> I like that. Uh, sick. Yeah, because what's going on that wall, TV? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. The fireplace? No. Kind of thin for a fireplace. What'd you say? Kind of thin for a fireplace. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing here. Either. Yeah. So um, we're done talking? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Alright.
think she had a car. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Oh, Jesus! going to do here we've got a triple 2x12 again for the beams that are coming out over top of our fire pit bar area kind of like a decorative pergola situation we're going to have some string lights there uh, let me show you the hardware that we have so here is uh, our hardware that's going to hang it uh, it only comes in dimensions of uh, five and a half or one and a half or three and a half three two by twelves is uh, four and a half inches wide so what we're going to do is add spacers in between the plies half inch so it, it so that it gives us the five and a half inch width that we need and it's also going to help water drain through it so uh it can dry out nice little added bonus what do you think anyway uh, we'll be getting this up on the house and it's going to go into the header above the window so we know that we have some nice solid uh securement there which is good GRKs per hanger. This thing's locked in for justice. For sure. I've got our beam pieces cut down to size and because we're building it out to five and a half inches, we're just putting some uh, pieces of dark slate fascia in between, spacing them out nice and even, and then we'll have another ply on both sides and uh, screw it all together, make it one unit, and uh, I think it's gonna look really nice. And like I said, adds that added benefit of having a little bit of space between the boards, which uh, water can just drain through. delivery people getting us our sliding Reach door subscribe. Reach out, show love. if you want to learn something how to make some stuff outdoors this is the page you follow all right make sure you subscribe god bless love you all he didn't even see any videos yet but he knows the deal my man Stand in the edges of uh, these here so you don't see the, the white inside of the fascia board. And uh, with these, we obviously stain these black, but uh, you know, they're getting rough and tumbled out here, getting all nicked up and everything. So uh, we're gonna hit everything again, but we like to uh, just get a coat on it. All the interior uh, pieces of the beam will be stained. So then once we're all done, we can go hit everything one more time. Be nice and clean, but it just makes it a lot easier if you get one coat on everything uh, before you start.
The problem is I went to the gym this morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nice? Nice. You're gonna be leaving us. That's why we're looking for somebody new. And we're not happy with Tom, but we're happy for Tom. <laughs> well said. Yeah, he's gonna go be a uh, custodial manager at a school district. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Basically, more, more or less. In charge of the custodians and the grounds crew and the. So uh, I'd like to bestow upon you some of these munchkins. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for almost two years of service and mm -hmm. mild valor. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Want some? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that was all you get. <laughs> the rest are for the people that are staying here. Nope. Never was a film guy. What's that? It's just something you do. Go <laughs> somewhere. Oh, you're still working? Get the other two by twelve. No, I think just mean. I think I'm officially done. Mm. I just suggested this because I wanted munchkins. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Trying to give a grasshopper a uh, munchkin. <laughs> Well, that's it for this vlog. We still have a lot more to go on this project. We're gonna be doing another level of this cantilevered pergola string light thing over the patio. We've got to demo this concrete. So we'll be doing that probably next week. And uh, we got some more work to do on the pergola. Some really, really cool finishing touches. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. And until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living. do that.